Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Godox AKR21, which is a light projection kit for flash products. Finally, if you've followed Godox for a few years, you probably know that there have been a number of optical projection systems available for their lights, but they've always been for LED. I'm talking about the SAP projection kit, which was originally designed for the Godox S30 LED that later had a Bowens mount adapter, making it applicable to all of their Bowens mount LEDs. LEDs. And then more recently, Godox produced the VSA projection kit, and that's specifically for Bones mount LEDs, but none of them were designed for flash, even though some of them kind of worked on flash. Now, if you're interested in learning more about those systems, then you can watch videos that I've made on them in the description below. But for today's video, we're going to be talking about this new product, which is the AKR21. Now, as you can see, the AKR21 here is mounted on the 8100 Pro, and that's because it's designed for any speed lights or or round head products. Right now we've got it connected using its round head attachment, but there is also this attachment. This is a speed light attachment. So this will work on any of the Fresnel heads. So the entire kit will pop off just like that. And then you can also separate this, the focusing and slide element from its adapter. And that's how you could easily change it to fit on the speed light attachment as well. So we've got a few parts here. First up in the front, we've got an optic. So the default optic is a 65 millimeter optic. The 83 millimeter optic is an optional accessory. And then the 50 millimeter optic is an optional accessory. All of these lenses are very lightweight, light build quality. This is all designed to be lightweight, compact, and of course, cost effective. But they're all really simple. They just go right in the front and then you give them a slight twist and that's it. They are fixed in place. Now, where the optic goes is also where you can zoom this in and out. And that's really important because that is how you focus the projection slide. So whatever type of image that you're putting in here, you focus it by moving this in and out. I'm gonna try to show you guys on the wall back here. It's a little tough because, well, this is flash and it's definitely not gonna work with the LEDs on these really small lights but let's try it just with the flash if you see use the flash right now we just kind of get a blurry mess but I'm gonna start focusing it in more closer to the front now you can see the pattern that we have in there starts to take shape so that visual in there brings me to the next point which is the slide area so in the middle of the device we have a slide plate or a slide holder, and we can pull our slide in and out and change it out with other slides. Currently, there are six packs of 10 slides, so there are 60 slides available. There's everything from like space to some kind of Tron looking backgrounds, to wood backgrounds, to some like cartoon animated characters. So there's a lot of diversity in the offerings of slides. They just explore different topics, but at the same time, it's very limited because these are visual images that are displayed. It's not stuff that you can manipulate other than focusing. So we can't really change the color of these pictures that we are projecting. So it's still quite limited. And I think we need to see a lot more slides become available especially the typical gobo staples. Um, if you look at the slides that are available, there's no just like circle or slash or window pattern. There's a few kind of window effects, but there's no just generic pattern that you can then modify with focus control or with color. So it would be really nice to see them add some of those type of systems because after all, you can throw a gel behind this and then gel the light that goes through that. It's gonna be very dim, but it would work. So hopefully Godox really increases the amount of slides that they offer because these things are pretty cost efficient. You can actually get all 60 of them for about $45. One slightly annoying thing is that each of these slides, when you pull it out brand new, I mean, I guess it's good that they protect it, but it's going to have a protective film, but they are tough to get off. You're really selling it, Rob. Now, in addition to having focus control of every slide, you can also rotate the entire system. And there are these handy guides up here, an arrow along with the angle that you're rotating it at. So it's very clear to know that you've got it nice and level or a 90 degree rotation. 
So this is a really simple device and I think it's just designed to be a far more cost effective solution because this whole kit, the snoot, the attachment to the 100 Pro, the 65 millimeter default optic, as well as the slide holder is only $89 and the accessories to add onto this system aren't very expensive either. So really designed so that you can bring this to a budget focused buyer. If I had one complaint, it's the fact that everything is controlled by rotating it. And therefore, you're constantly having to use both hands to prevent yourself from messing up other levels of control. For instance, if you wanna take a lens off and swap it, you have to hold the focusing area so that you're not just moving the focusing area instead of taking off the optic. And when you go to tighten the optic, you start focusing far before the optic locks in. And at a certain point when you're focusing, you might just rotate the entire thing instead of the focusing area. So it just seems like you're constantly overlapping and undoing what you're doing unless you are very specific and using both hands to control the device. I also think it was a good move to design this specifically for the speed lights. Now, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, I wanna put this on my 801200 Pro, and you could probably find a way to Frankenstein it. But remember guys, focus to light works way better for this type of system than omnidirectional light. One example of this is an 8200 with its Fresnel head is brighter at the same distance than an 8600 Pro with its standard reflector. And the recommended zoom length for this is actually 85 millimeters. So even a V1 might be as efficient as trying to hook this up to an 8600 Pro. So I like the idea of keeping it compact, not worrying about the Bowens mount adapter or anything like that, and just making this for all of the Fresnel Nell systems that can actually focus light through this so that it just works more efficiently with a smaller size. Sorry about the change of scenery, but I did want to include all the pricing details for you guys. So the AKR21 kit, you can get that for $89. I've got Adorama open because I always recommend buying any Godox products under the Flashpoint brand from Adorama. That way you get their sweet warranty and support. Now the AKR21 kit includes the snoot, the connection to both round heads and speed lights so you don't have to buy the adapter if you're going for one or the other gets one slide holder and the 65 millimeter optic now you can buy all the slides in the kit for 45 dollars or you can buy the individual kits for 10 dollars a piece now if you want the 83 millimeter optic or the 50 millimeter optic they are 50 and 55 dollars respectively something you might want to consider depending on how you want to use it is adding some additional slide holders in there for 390 i mean at four dollars it's uh pretty convenient if you plan on using a few of these a lot that way you wouldn't have to sit there and swap them out between you'd be able to swap them way quicker if they were already in a slide holder so i've got links to all of this equipment in the description below let me know if you guys have any questions on the akr21 kit and i'll catch you guys in the next one